So you guys know me, huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan, been a fan of it ever since like the start of the card game and the start of the original anime way back in the day. You guys know I love talking about it, I've talked about nearly all of the Yu-Gi-Oh's, you know, GX, 5D, ZL, RV, you know, the name of it. And back in the day I did a little video saying what was the best series of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's a very outdated video and I still get comments to this day and views on it. It's talking about, you know, hey, this is actually the best one or no, talking about that. And I thought like, well, that video is very outdated. So I feel like I need to do a redo of that video and I'm going to bring it to you now, people. Welcome to what is the best Yu-Gi-Oh! series right now. We're going to be straight here. Now this time I'm going to be being a little bit more calculated than I've actually written down a lot of things what I think are both positives and the negatives straight up for all the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And yes, we're going to be talking about all of them. We're going to be talking about the, the original Dual Monsters Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, 5Ds, ZL, that's including all the ZL, ZL1 and ZL2, and also as well, the last one that's all currently ongoing at the moment is Arc B. Now also, I'm going to be saying this as well, like this, since, you know, Arc V is continually ongoing on there, I'm only just going to be talking about, like, the current episodes, like, what I think of it so far. I'm not like, even though it's not a complete bundled package, so I know it's unfair to really put it on there, but, hey, you guys want my opinion also as well on Arc V, so I'm going to give that straight up to you right now, starting out. So we're going to be starting off with everyone's, like, what everyone talks about, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Monsters, everyone loves this, you know. Everyone's talking about, like, they love Yugi Moe, they love Battle City, it's just, oh, so much amazing greatness back in the day, like, no, yeah, this is where I got into it when I was a kid, Battle City, like, straight off, just the best arc in the entire Yu-Gi-Oh series, that's one thing to hardly top there, Battle City was so well done, it re-modernized the actual card game, and that's, like, one thing that is so good about that arc, it's like, he had so many rivalries with Kyber and Yugi, Joey going in like that. All the crazy shit that happened between him and like Merrick was being a, a very good like like villain for that duel as well. Not to mention as well the rare hunters. Like the amount of emotional moments that they had throughout that arc going with like when like Joey was possessed and he was attacking Yugi and like Yugi was sacrificing himself just so he can get his friend to escape. Like giving him the part. Like there are so many good moments in like the entire battle scene. However. One thing that we got to forget as well that in this arc is that uh, definitely Jewelers Kingdom. Now watching like two of the seasons already, watching season one and season two, I can definitely say season like the first part of season one of like Yu-Gi-Oh was fucking busted. They had no idea what they were doing with the card game. It made no sense. It was like honestly, it was the most confusing fucking uh, card game I've ever seen. And it's like it made no sense. Cards just came out of nowhere. You could activate this, activate that. And that's one thing that's kind of what really puts off, I feel like, a lot of people trying to get into the series if they wanted to go into the old ones, is definitely that. And it's like, not to mention as well, like, yeah, when you get off to Battle City, it's like, the card game is kind of a bit outdated, like, from, like, all these monsters now, like, you're seeing, like, God cards and stuff. Although, back in the day when you saw some of these cards, like, blue eyes, red eyes, just great. And now, that's already been a bit out there, coming out to it in nostalgia, and I did try to get out, but it's like, a lot of the, even still, like, when I went to rewatch a lot of the Battle City, I was like, there were some very well done fights, and I really did like that. However, Yu-Gi-Oh! is filled to the brim with filler. Holy shit, there was so much filler. There was like a couple of film episodes, like straight after Jewelers Kingdom, but not even through there. We also had that Dungeon Die stuff that no one really gives a fuck about. Cyber Arc was okay. Waking the Dragons, I mean, Joey's wearing fucking battle armor and shit like that, and they're fighting with like, it got really retarded. For like a children's car game, it kind of got very tired. And then, even it's still, like, even, like, the tournament after that, I still think that's, like, the weakest part, like, the little tournament they had after that. And even the last arc, as much as I love the final duel between the Pharaoh and Yugi, I think that's so emotional and so well done. I definitely think it's missing some parts out of there, and it's, like, I didn't like how they kind of throw out the rules, and it's just, like, going into Egypt, and it was weird, but it's, like, definitely going into that. I definitely say, like, I still think the, the start of it is really good, and I still think it holds a special place in my heart. But definitely, it's it's kind of aged a bit now, and I've kind of seen a lot of the scores. And I'll um, I'll put it up there, and I'll give you my final where I put it on the scoreboard, like right at the end after we talked about it. Next, coming up with GX Generation X, who is, is an actual sequel to the original. I believe it's like ten years after like the original Yu-Gi-Oh, and it's like we get to see like her main character, like J Jaden Yugi, or as we know, know in the Japanese Judai. Now, here's the thing with like where I'm a little bit mixed with some other people. Some people really hate Jaden a lot, mainly because it's a lot more childish, it's a lot more like laid back, hit back. You know, he's like you know get your game on, like all this stuff. I will admit that can get a little bit grinding on the nose, but it's like 
mainly his fucking friends. It's like, even the original Yu-Gi-Oh! had that. That had stuff like Taya with the friendship and what have you. But it was like, seeing like Jaden's friends as well. Oh my god, they wouldn't shut the fuck up. Oh my god, stop talking about friendship. Stop talking about all this stupid shit. Like the koala motherfucker. Like, his, like, they were retired. I mean, there were some cool-ass characters in there. You had Zane Truesdale, who... I felt like he try kept trying to be, like, the silent, cool Kyber, in a way, for a lot of the Star series. And then you had, like, sort of, like, Chaz that kind of took that. It's like, he had some... And then Aster, like, he had a bunch of cool, like, uh, rivals. And, like, definitely one thing I like about, like, with GX, it got very more serious once you kind of went into, like, the new world. Uh, like, when you went into the Sacred Beast, and then the straight of the arc after that, like, you get the Society of the Light. And it's like... I think, like, it kind of got progressively better, like, there, until, you know, they got to the world. And I think, like, the last arc, it has some good moments. Uh, that's when, like, you get to see the most serious version of, like, Jaden. Like, he's more grown up and more mature. But then the dub didn't do that, so a lot of people didn't actually get to see that. And, like, the actual ending in the dub is just like, oh, Jaden dies. Like, that is just, like, a really fucked up ending when you think of that as for kids. And it's like, what? <laughs> Even though there's a straight up season after that. It's like, I can understand why people didn't like that. I mean, they kind of kept still to the card game as well, where they was like, oh, we're just going to primarily focus on fusions to this, like, season. Which is, like, you know, that's kind of fine that they focused on that as like they didn't want to change the card game to up adding any real new monsters to it and i mean they had like the sacred beast which to be fair they like want to be god cards and it's like they wasn't as cool as like the last ones although i do own them and i do love them as well but yeah they try to copy a lot of stuff and i feel like you know the last arc like one thing i can definitely say is that that final duel between yuhi and Jaden. oh fucking work of art that was such a good duel I, and i definitely feel like you know it had some good moments too but it's like now my kind of my biased a little bit um like um to like gx i think it's kind of dwindled a bit because i remember like in the original video i was a little bit more biased to like gx because i was like oh yeah gx is shit that's when i got into it. next we're gonna go into five these which yeah, pretty much i think this is where a lot of people kind of got out of the card game after this time like personally this is where i kind of lost interest in it it was kind of like during the ending of five these like getting introduced to the synchro monsters which to be fair like synchro monsters really like added a new addition to the duel like i really did actually like their addition to it like kind of mixed it up like maybe like other monsters kind of useful with like the levels and the synchro summons and he like opened up a lot of things i really think like all the seasons i definitely think out of the main protagonist i think you say is the best one he's the more calm collected mature one a bit more bad like he was always like kind of like the pharaoh at all times i definitely really like that about him not to mention as well his people that he hanged out with i like them way much more than like any of the other protagonists like that i like crow i like jack atlas akiza even the two little twins as well i thought they were fine they were cool and like not to mention as well like the first arc was really enjoyable i mean it was like card games on motorcycles i mean everyone makes that joke about it i mean personally i think the, the whole thing of motorcycles are fucking retarded i think it's generally stupid i don't like it and it was just like oh i'm drawing speed counters look at this oh, oh, oh. It, it was stupid and i think it was just a silly thing to like hey guys look at this doesn't this look cool like that you like motorcycles right what you can do them on car games like it, it felt really retarded in my own eyes like even when i was seeing it back in the day however the dark sinus of the second arc of the series was really good i really think that's the best part of fighting and i don't think it ever got as high as that to me like i kind of did like the last one with like the, the synchro eaters what they were called like that like i definitely like, the mech lords i really did like enjoyed the kind of the first part of the introduction but it the problem is that's the longest arc in the series and that really really dragged on and it's like even as well seeing the ending as recently as like i still didn't think it hold it up like that i kind of do like the ending but it was just it was kind of there it was like okay let's see the next one now we get into everyone's favorite zial Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get straight now. I think Zial is personally the worst one out of all five of the season. The main protagonist is fucking annoying. Oh my god, Yuma does not shut the fuck up. He is a dumbass. He doesn't know how to play. And not to mention the fact, it's just that the whole thing with Astral is just like he's a wannabe pharaoh. He's like the whole thing. Oh, I got amnesia. I can't remember my past or what I'm known. All I've known is I'm known for greatness. And it's just like him being smart. It's like it was really trying to copy off the old like Yu-Gi-Oh style. And it just really didn't work. And not to mention as well, like like say you like Yuma could never be Yugi. That's the one thing. He he tried to, but he just couldn't. His catchphrase was annoying as fuck. Every single one of his friends, like, except for Shark and Kaito, are the only ones I generally gave a fuck about. And that's one thing. 
it took me around about like 20 episodes or so before I even really started enjoying ZR. I thought like, why, like, what, like, what is this? Like, I really didn't like it. It felt really childish. I really didn't care about it. But it's like, it did feel like the season one finale, I will say that much, and kind of like the big, like, heart, like, heart, like, tournament. I did enjoy it. I did think it was a good tournament. I definitely think as well, like, the final episode of season one, Ziao, was very well done with, like, Kaizo versus Yuma. Season two is when it went down. So, like, you fought card games on most of them. How about kind of the most stupidest fucking things I had, like, aliens dueling and it's just like the whole thing about the revelation of like astral as well and it's just like the whole thing about like the astral force and just like everything like i will say there was one very good uh reveal that no one was actually expecting with like one of like yuma's friends like betraying them and then us as well like finding out shark's identity as well like it's true uh, origins and not to mention so his sister was pretty badass i'm gonna admit that i think she was a badass chick and i thought she was really good but it's like really went downhill and honestly that's like the one where it's like i you really should, i don't think you should watch that one honestly it's ending as well i don't like it's like copying again of Yu-Gi-Oh having a duel between like Yuma and Astro, I'm like, what is this wannabe shit? I've heard the manga is a lot better, but it's like I don't really read the Yu-Gi-Oh manga, so I can't really say too much of that. Now, the last one I'm going to be talking about is Arc V, the newest one. Now, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the current like around about 70 episodes that we've got in the series so far, where we're currently in the midst of like going into Synchro Dimension Arc, which honestly. Here's the thing I like about Ark. He's the sort of character that I feel like Yuma was trying to be. He's supposed to be like that young kid on the block. He's like laugh. He's really funny. He's enjoyable. He's energetic. Like I love the whole thing of using entertainment jewels and like even if his deck is a bit weird with like using all the animals and stuff like that. But it's like I think it's really good. Like an interesting deck. I find it's like I like the character in general. He has like like good moments and these bad moments as well but then as well like he has that crazy fucking transformation that you know that there's a lot of mystery to him i really do like that it's like but like pendulums the whole addition that they added into there like considering from like Xyz, synchros fusions rituals you know out of all of them I, that was the one i was the most mixed at first when i was like what you can summon monsters just out of nowhere like something in that and then once we found out a little about the pendulums later on i kind of was like okay the pendulums aren't that bad they're like they are powerful but it's like really they depend on your deck and like you know a lot of pendulum cards don't really work like that at the moment so it's like they're still out not really there yet but it's like i have to see them become very broken and it's like out of all of them my favorite that i just like the most is xe's i really don't like xe cards at all but it's like there are some really retarded moments there's like dimensional plot like four people come from the different dimension that look exactly alike and I'm not even going to lie, you know, I haven't been mentioning too much about the dubs as much as well. Like, I think all of the dubs are cheesed in their own way. I do think Fighters probably has the best dub out of them all. Next to the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, then I'd put probably GX. And then I'd put, Fi uh, like, Fighters. I think, yeah, I do see Fighters is the best one. Then Arc D is the four, second to last. And then I think Zia is the worst dub. Like, that's one thing I, I tried to get into as well. I saw that and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but that dub was fucking terrible. Arthi's dub, uh, it's alright. It's alright. I'm. Uh, it's still early on, so I'm like, uh, it sounds alright. So I can't really say too much about the dub, but it's like I'm not really too keen on it. So to be fair, and honestly, if I'm gonna put them in an order that I say I think w what is my favorite on there, like coming out of all of them, I do think probably like I do like the original Yu-Gi-Oh probably the most. But it's like there are some mixed things like getting into the Jewelers Kingdom was broken and like even though GX had that really like campy start and it kind of took a long while to be serious and then Fire Bees had a very consistent start and then just dragged the ending. Like all of them are flawed, don't get me wrong, I love the Yu-Gi-Oh series, I love the game, all of them are very flawed series but they all have each a great little part in them. So personally, like if I'm going to be in my actual order, I would still go, I would, I would say the original Yu-Gi-Oh be number one then i'd put gx there it's just barely there i think that I, honestly it would be either tied up with either between like i think it's be a joint third honestly at the moment between five and arc v but i'd put probably maybe arc v a little bit lower because it's still going on and i can't really judge that because like like five has some great stuff in it so i'd honestly put it for slides and honestly i still say like zl is the worst honestly from like seeing all of it, it honestly is the worst one out of them all but that's the question is what do you guys think? You know, I want to do this for a long time. Like, what do you guys think of Five Ds? Like, Arc, the Z, Al, GX, you know, all of them. Let me know what you think in the conversation down below. 
What's your favorite one? Also as well, name me your favorite character. Personally, I've always got to stick to Yugi Moto, but I do like Yusei. I do like Jaden. I do like Yuya. And well, Yuma, he can go fuck himself. So, you know, there you go. But that's all from me, everyone. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll hopefully see you dueling next time.